Hello lovelies, things are heating up outside, which means it is time to fire up those grills. And today I am super excited to share three delicious ways to do just that. I have three tasty grilled chicken recipes for you that I think you're going to love, whether you're using a barbecue out on your patio or an indoor grill like I'm using today. These taste delicious and actually come together super, super simply. We'll start today with a total crowd pleaser. These are my lemon and herb chicken skewers. The entire team adored these. They're so simple to put together. For this recipe, I'll start by preparing a simple marinade for my chicken. It's just a matter of combining some extra virgin olive oil with some freshly chopped dill and parsley. To that, I'm also going to add some garlic, a whole lot of garlic. Trust me, when you're making a marinade like this, you can feel free to go for it. Next, I am going to zest my lemon and then get all of that good juice out of it. Mm -hmm. I have a queen song stuck in my head. I'll link it in the description box below so you can all have it stuck in your head too. You're welcome. <laughs> I would sing it for you all, but of course I want to spare you my voice and we don't want a copyright infringement on this video. Does it still count if I'm humming it? Finally, I'll hit it with salt and pepper and it really is this simple. Once I've got that marinade all mixed up, it is time to pour it over my chicken. I've got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I just cut it into about one inch cubes. You don't have to be perfect. And we are just going to pour all of that marinade over our chicken breasts. Give everything a good toss so it's evenly coated, and then I'll pop the lid on this and get it into my refrigerator for at least an hour, but overnight is actually ideal. The longer these can sit in all that tastiness, the more delicious your chicken skewers are going to be. All right, now that this chicken is well marinated, we can go ahead and start making our skewers. Now for this, I'm actually using these metal skewers. I love using metal skewers when I'm doing things like chicken on the grill because the metal itself heats up and helps cook the inside of the chicken while the outside is grilling. So everything actually cooks much more quickly on a metal skewer. Word to the wise though, if you are using metal skewers, they are extremely sharp. So just watch your fingers. I'm just going to skewer on my chicken and then it is time to get these on the grill. As I said, I'm using an indoor grill for these today, but of course, if you have a barbecue available, go ahead and use that, it's even better. I like getting them fired up over medium heat. Make sure that you are flipping your skewers every few minutes so that they're cooked evenly on all sides. And while those are cooking away, you can turn your attention to this simple lemon caper dip. I think it is the perfect accompaniment to these skewers. And it all starts with a base of plain yogurt in your bowl. To that, I'm going to go ahead and add some tasty capers, which have really delicious flavor and a lot of great salty bite. I'm also going to add some fresh dill to this. I'll grate in a little bit of fresh garlic and then I'll add the zest and juice of one lemon. Hit this with some salt and pepper, give it a whirl and it is ready to be enjoyed. By this time, your skewers should look gorgeous and golden like these and be fully cooked through. That means it is time to get them off the grill and let's be honest, right into your belly where they belong. And of course, if you wanna give these a little skewer of lemon right before serving, go ahead and do that. Next up guys, I have a recipe that just screams summer. It's my peachy balsamic grilled chicken. And I love it best served over a beautiful bed of lettuce with some grilled peaches on the side. For this one, we are starting once again by mixing up our marinade. In this case, it's a matter of mixing up some peach preserves, which you can always find in the jam aisle at your supermarket with a little bit of balsamic vinegar. We're going to add a splash of oil to this to help prevent everything from sticking. If you're into the heat, this is a great time to add some red pepper flakes to this, and then we'll finish it off with a little bit of salt and pepper. It's really this simple, but oh my gosh, you won't believe how flavorful it is. Those peach preserves have a gorgeous sweet flavor, while that balsamic vinegar adds a nice tanginess. Throw in those red pepper flakes for that heat, and you have got a marinade that is to die for. Once that's all mixed together, what I like to do is just use a measuring cup to reserve a bit of the mixture. I'm going to use this to sauce my chicken once it's finished cooking. 
The rest of this tastiness will go right over some boneless, skinless chicken breast. As always, when it comes to marinades, the longer it sits, the tastier it is going to be. So you'll wanna marinate this in the refrigerator for at least an hour, but hey, if you've got two, three, four hours, that is even better. When it's time to get them to the grill, you'll wanna make sure you're cooking these low and slow. The idea is you wanna make sure that your glaze doesn't burn before your chicken is completely cooked through. So I like to stay over medium heat, or if you're working on a traditional grill outdoors, you can always do indirect heat. So you can make sure one side is on and then cook these on the other side that's off so you know your chicken is going to cook through before any of the sugars in that glaze have a chance to burn. We're going to keep these grilling, flipping them once until they've reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Just before we pull them off the grill, we are going to brush them with a little more of our reserved glaze that hasn't touched any of the raw chicken, and then they are ready to be enjoyed. As I said, I think this chicken is best served over a beautiful bed of greens with some grilled peaches on the side. And that, my friends, is one just peachy way to get your grill on. Finally guys, we are whipping up some Honey Dijon drumsticks that are great for the young and of course the young at heart. These start once again with a really wonderful but simple marinade. I've got a little oil in my bowl. To that I'm going to add a good helping of honey. And next I'm adding Dijon mustard. Such classic flavors, so good. I'll also add a good splash of apple cider vinegar and some minced garlic a little salt and pepper to round all of this out, and I'll give it a good whisk until it's well combined. Then once again, I'll set aside a little bit of this marinade to use at the very end of cooking to brush onto our chicken. And with the rest of my marinade, I'm just going to pour it over some chicken drumsticks. I'll flip these one or two times to make sure they are evenly coated in that marinade. Then I'll cover this dish, get it into the refrigerator, and get these chilling out for at least an hour. Now because of all that honey in this marinade, it's really easy to burn the outside before your chicken drums are cooked through. One way to prevent this, once again, is to make sure you're cooking on medium heat and flipping them regularly. If you're using an indoor grill like this, you always have the option to finish them off in the oven for the last five or 10 minutes of cooking. What you're looking for is an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit on a meat thermometer. That is how you know they are ready to be devoured. Just like with our last recipe, right at the end of cooking, we are going to give these another quick brush with that delicious honey mustard sauce. We'll let it cook for maybe one to two more minutes and then it will be time to enjoy it. These are really easy to make, guys, but uber tasty. I highly recommend you make a little extra because these make really tasty leftovers. Perfect for lunch the next day. I hope you guys will give all three of these ideas a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo, because as always, I love seeing your kitchen creations. The full recipes for all of these delicious dishes are in the description box below, so you can take a look for them there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.